Hey, today I was in the mood to uh, do some food photography. What I'm thinking is, you ever see the photography where like a sandwich, all the layers of the sandwich is individual, like floating in the air? Like, I wanna do that for a pepperoni pizza. Got the salami. All right, I feel like a dumb guy when I just came. I'm looking all over the place for individual ingredients and look, there's one end shelf. A uh, pepperoni. And the sauce. That's, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I have all my ingredients. This is what, uh, what we're gonna use here. Just the sauce, cheese. We're gonna torch that up. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be using my trusty Fringer adapter, my Canon 85. So the string is my focus line, okay? Camera is on manual. Get your focus on the string. This never changes. Self timer 10 seconds. Look at this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. And that's it. Whoa. Well, that was messy. Okay, so now jumping into the computer, let's talk about some Photoshop work. Um, the easiest thing to do that I found was to take each image that I liked of the pepperoni, the cheese, the sauce, and the bread, and do a lasso highlight all the way around it as close as you can, just so you have less to get rid of when you copy paste. So when you paste it into a separate window um, of all the ingredients, I'm going to go back and delete the string that you see. So it's not super hard Photoshop, but it, it is very tedious work. Um, now you can see why it's so important to photograph it the best you can in the camera, because I'm not having to work on the food itself. I'm literally just trying to get rid of all this string. So as much as this is on 20 times speed, <laughs> Uh, it still seems like this is a little slow, but it's just tedious, even with a pen for the computer. So all I am doing is bringing these images onto the same new page, the new template page, which I believe is a 20 by 20 at 300 res. Just, some, just in case I want to print this on a larger scale for me uh, at the studio, or as as long as it's printable so I can sell this to restaurants and the advertisement agencies or anything like that. They actually may need a really cool looking pizza shot. So I am going to let you watch the process really quick. This is basically how I created the entire montage. So let me throw the music back on and this is at 20 times speed. So you can imagine how long this actually took. See you in a minute.
I highly recommend you take time to create for yourself. Um, this is a project I've been wanting to do for, um, for months now, and I just haven't had the time. And you really need to be in the mindset of doing a project like this because it is very tedious and it's very easy to give up and quit and uh, not know where you're going with your composite. It is frustrating. So think about your final product at the end and then how do you have to photograph uh, your pieces parts so the composite isn't that hard it, it is time worthy but it's not hard so a huge shout out to my buddy mr joe glida he worked for craft foods for 30 something years man every time you bought a box of mac and cheese or anything from craft he was one of the photographers that was a part of that and he is such a valuable friend of mine in general but also he's a fantastic photographer and you know all of that was created with only one big light source and um, that seems to be one of the big keys of making food photography look real and true so thanks Joe I appreciate you buddy happy 4th of July weekend I'll uh, see you next week all right you guys stay focused on your dreams later <laughs>